I know that many teenagers think their grandparents are too old to use a computer, but they are wrong. My example shows that it's never too late to learn if you really want to. Some time ago, I decided to buy a book which a friend recommended to me. I visited every bookshop in the area where I live, but I couldn't get the book in any of them. I told my friend about the problem and wanted to borrow his book, but he suggested I should try buying it online. He said he'd use the internet to buy CDs with classical music that he couldn't find anywhere else. I wasn't sure at first, but I really wanted to have my own copy of the book, so I thought, why not? At home, I sat down in front of my computer, which I'd only used for email before. I searched for the book for half an hour. Finally, I found an online bookshop that had it. I was very excited that I could start buying. I read the instructions on the website, but they seemed complicated, so I phoned my grandson. I wanted him to tell me how to order the book step by step. I thought everything would go smoothly, but I was wrong. I wanted to use my favorite word as a password. But the website didn't want to accept it for some reason. My grandson told me to add a number to it, and this time it was okay. I finally managed to order the book, and I just had to wait two days for it to arrive. At least that's what I thought. The next day I got an email from the bookshop. It said that I had made a mistake in my registration form. I wrote too many numbers in my postcode, and they couldn't send the book. They told me to correct it. I did it very quickly. And phoned them to check if everything was all right. Fortunately, it was, but they said I'd have to wait for two more days. When the postman came with the package, I was so happy. As the book cost more than twenty pounds, the delivery was free, so I gave the postman a five-pound tip. I had a real surprise when I opened the package. Inside there was the book, of course, but there was also a letter that said I would pay ten percent less for all books and CDs I bought from the bookshop in the future. So for me, online shopping makes a lot of sense, and I will depend on it for buying many other things.